Okay, so many of you know that just recently during the good old Black Friday sales, I got myself an iPhone 10R. I absolutely love it. I think it's a fantastic phone. The camera works great. It's crazy fast, etc., etc., etc. But one of the things I didn't think I'd miss, and I kind of do a little bit, is on the iPhone 7 Plus and the 8 Series, there was the Force Touch, 3D Touch, whatever you want to call it, um, which is missing here. But the real question for me is why is it missing here? I get that the screen is different and it was a feature that they put on that screen. But as you can see, when you go into the control panel, most of those features that were taken away on the home screen are still available because of the haptic feedback. So why can they not do that and put that into their SDK for third party developers to be able to enable it? And I'm gonna bring it down here so you can see this. Here's, here's hopefully this is in focus. Here's my iPhone 10 right here. Okay, we're gonna just slide this open. And if I were to come in here, for instance, it used to be that if you were to hold on, so let's say the camera application, you would get something that pops up that tells you some options. Nothing there, so I'm just gonna get out of this. But if I were to bring up this and hold the camera app down, you'll see I get that haptic feedback. I get that take selfie, record video, scan QR code, take portrait. And these are features that should have been available on the main screen. So if you go through these, etc., this screen up here, click and hold, haptic feedback, you get the extra ones. Music, click and hold, you get the extra, airplay, where you wanna play it through. If you click on the screen brightness, you get all these brightness features, volume, you know, flashlight, those are there. Calculator, right, copy last results. But there's definitely a whole bunch in here that you can see that the haptic feedback and the screen has that ability to be able to do like that 3D touch or that force 3D. It should be available on this screen. At least I think so. I don't know why I can't hold down the mail button and get that create new mail. I'm gonna bring up my, my old phone. This was one of my old phones here. This was my the old 6S. And I'll give you an example. You know, if I had, this is mail up here. And if I hold that, you'll see new message, search, VIP, all kinds of stuff. If I do my camera, click, take selfie, record video. You know, if I come in here and do it, it's there. So because it's here, I don't know why it can't be here. Do you know why it can't be here? If so, leave a comment. I'd like to know why. Is there something I'm missing? I'm not a programmer. I'm not, I have no idea. I'm just, I'm just wondering if you guys understand why. Maybe you didn't even know you could do that in the control panel. If that's a, the case, I'm glad I showed you something. And if you can only do it in the control panel, it would be amazing if they let us put other pieces of software in there. Maybe I'd like to put a, a mail shortcut so that I could click on it there and compose a new message right from the control panel. Maybe I'd like to be able to do some of that 3D touching that I could do before, but only in the control panel. What are your thoughts? What do you think? Am I way out in left field? I don't think so. Nope, I don't think so. Other than that, I would hope that Apple will release this in a software update, possibly. Would be amazing. Hint, hint, you can do it, please. Mm -hmm. And that's all I got for today. That's it, I'm gonna leave you guys there. Hope to hear some comments. I like reading them, it's always amazing. And uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I gotta go, I'm just, I'm rambling now. All right, my friends, have a good one, and we will see you again in the next video. Later.